Hi there guys, Clay Johnson with Castle and Cook Mortgage here with Cheryl Knowlton. And as if you guys didn't know, she is Dynamite with Dynamite Productions. And so Cheryl, you know, you had said when we talked about that last VA segment, you're like, I hear the voices and the questions in my head on this because this comes up so often uh, with veterans. That is on the appraisal. Yep. Tell us what your what that question was that popped into your mind. I know some of you are asking this. Why do VA appraisals consistently or oftentimes come in so much lower than they do for conventional loans? I know for myself personally, very, very sad story. Back before I was a real estate professional, when I was a mortgage loan officer selling my home in California, I had three offers on my beautiful little home in Oakley, California in 24 hours. Wow. One was FHA, one was VA, and one was conventional. Guess which one was the highest? Hmm. Hmm? The VA. Yes, <laughs> the VA was the highest and I was the most afraid of that one in terms of repairs and conservative appraisals. So I didn't take the best offer that would have put more money in my pocket because of my fear. So mm. help us understand this, Clay. Well, you know, the, with the VA, it was one of the few things that's ordered very different than it is on a traditional appraisal today. And so you have the VA portal that you're ordering that through. They are really kind of their own, they have their own little checklist of things that they're looking for specifically that meet that requirement. But the nature of that is, so you know, it's a more conservative loan by, by what it is. And there's really, when you look at it from a VA, there's a higher requirement for appraisers to be able to do VA appraisals. Yes, not all appraisers can do VA no, appraisals. No, just like FHA and then VA even has a different requirement. So to do a VA, you have to meet certain requirements. Well, they know that the majority of the time there really is a higher level of financing closer to that 100% financing level. And so when they're financing everything, there's just this kind of natural tendency to be a little more conservative in how they're gonna bring that appraisal in. And so that's one of the things that a lot of times people fear. It's not as strict as it used to be as far as guidelines, uh, property valuations and conditions that used to be there. Um, they do rely on the underwriter a little bit more to kind of evaluate those things. If there's something, then they will mark that subject to but it's not as big of a fear as people need it in their mind, but that is kind of the nature for why those tend to be a little bit more conservative. Uh -huh. Good so. answer. All right, everybody, thanks for being here. If you have questions about the VA loan in general or uh, specifically about the 100% construction, construction loan for VA, that is absolutely phenomenal. Give Clay a call, and until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.